All right, guys, I'm back here over at Go RV. I have a uh, Four Winds Class C. I think it's a fairly recent one. So, 2018. It's had a persistent few, uh, water leak back here. It's been like this since uh, it was built at the factory. You can kind of see the flooring's a little bit damaged here and there. No one's been able to find the water leak. They asked me to come look at it. I thought it was this fill neck right here was leaking. I filled it all up the first time and water was pouring out back here so I tightened it all up, left the tank full. But I still felt like water was leaking right here. So I left it overnight and I came back the next day and uh, the tank was actually down to about this level right here. I have it empty right now. So, so there was a leak. So now I have to come back, take apart everything I just did. So I've un undone all the plumbing, all the electrical. I got this uh, outlet right there out of the way. I'm gonna pull this tank out and see if we can't find the leak. All right. So there it is. And then if we look right here, I wonder what that is. That's about where the water level was when I uh, let it sit from a full tank. Looks like it's been draining out onto the ground. But you couldn't see on this side because it was right next against right here. And what is this right here? That is a nice sharp screw, a wood screw that the factory installed when they built this cabinet right here. It's right there, there's a screw. So that little guy, Caused a lot of problems. It's been like that since this was made uh, last year. So there's two ways of fixing this. Obviously we could uh, plastic weld it, but that's not always a good guarantee, especially because the side right here, it's gonna be flexing quite a bit. What the method I like to use on a little hole like this is gonna be use a, a well nut. There's a well nut right here. Generally, these are used as tanks for sensors. These are called tank sensors. So you just drill a 3 8 hole, stick that down in there, tighten it up, and as you tighten it, the back of this, uh, this rubber well nut bunches up and actually seals the hole. So I think that's probably the best bet. Of course, obviously get the screw out of there first. On a normal setup, this uh, screw itself is the probe that gets dirty. Really won't get dirty on a uh, <laughs> fresh water tank, but on a holding tank like a waste or gray or black tank that this is the part that gets dirty gets stuff hung up on it this tank actually has uh spun in uh, uh tank probes right here so they just have a brass body on the back side so all i have to do is drill a hole right here i believe it's three eighths straight through put that plug in there take the screw out and this thing should be fixed Now it is important not to uh, oversize this hole. So I put a mark on my uh, unit bit right there. And there it fits. All I have to do is tighten it up. Now you gotta hold that rubber sometimes. It's important that you have a, a washer on here. I have a stainless washer right there. A lot of times uh, you won't get this washer. You can use a ring terminal for the probe that would go with it. Uh, so this is a ring terminal that usually goes to the probe. But even that doesn't put a lot of pressure down on that gasket. So I like to have a, a washer to spread that out. To, actually get it nice and tight and of course it's hard to know if you're tightening up very well with the impact but I think we're pretty good let's see if we can't get that ow it was my head You're just a little bit too long, my friend. 
Still feels pretty strong without it there. So, now I just put this back together and fill it up. All right, so I got it all ready to go. If you guys can see, I did actually dig out this area in the wood right there. This side of the tank does rest against that piece of wood. So I notched it out so that this well nut would fit inside of it. So there wasn't so much pressure right on it. Wearing it out every time it expands and contracts. So let's put this back in. So I got everything hooked back up again. All my lines hooked up, fed down to the drain down below. And I just have to put the hose in and fill this thing back up and see if it leaks. Well, I won't know immediately. I have to let it sit overnight and make sure it doesn't have a puddle over here again. But let's start filling it up. Uh, it's tweet. <laughs> filling up. I don't need to drain you anymore. Let's go inside and see if it's leaking. Well, I don't see any leaks. The water down there was there already. I swear. So here we go. Be able to see it filling up. I'll fill it up and then we'll check back in. Well, we got it full. It's kind of hard to see it full. But there it is. So if I gurgle it, gurgle, gurgle. You can kind of see how full it is there. So far, it's not leaking anywhere that I can see. Now I just let this sit uh, for a day. Make sure there's no liquid there. I also need to check and make sure that the uh, probes still work. Hey, they still work. All right, come back tomorrow. We'll see it tomorrow. All right, well, let's try this again. see any water down there that tank's still full I don't see any water anywhere Let's see look at that it's dry hooray it's done yay there you have it guys we did it we used a well nut to fix a fresh water tank I've not done that a lot of, oh, I've done that a lot <laughs> it's a lot like I said it's actually a much better repair than uh, plastic welding it um, but Thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy. Ooh.